there was talk that back in the early like 2011 ish that you worked on the 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 live action Star Wars series that Lucas was trying to get off the ground. Is right. that is there any truth to that? Yeah. I was one of several. There were there was a, a bunch of international writers. They assembled internationally, and we would gather up at Skywalker Ranch, you know, once every six to eight weeks, something like that. And we would break stories together, and uh, then we'd go off and write some drafts and bring them back. And George and we would sit down and critique them and do another draft and then break more stories. And yeah, I mean, it went on for a year or something like that a year and a half uh it was great it was a ball it was a lot of fun it was uh it didn't it didn't happen uh, ultimately we we wrote i'd say somewhere in the 40 something 48 scripts something like that george wanted the theory was george wanted to write all the scripts and get them all done and then he was going to go off and figure out how to produce them because he wanted to do a lot of you know cutting edge technological stuff with cg and virtual sets and so on so he had a whole uh new thing he wanted to, to accomplish and what happened was, you know, we wrote the scripts and then George said, OK, th this is enough for now. And then I'll get back to you. I want to look into all the production things. And then time went by and like, you know, a year or something after that is when he sold uh, Lucasfilm to Disney. So I think he just decided, you know, it was the confluence of those events of either getting into this giant new Star Wars live action TV show or somehow, you know, uh, he just decided to sell to sell the whole the whole kit and caboodle around the same period. It's pretty crazy. I mean, you've worked in TV a long time, and I've learned so much about the production of television. Nobody has 48 scripts written before you're going to start producing something. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of nuts. Um, it, it was an extraordinary sort of you know um, uh, undertaking for for someone to do. Um, I don't know anyone else that would that would really take that on. Um, obviously, I'm sure. Do you think at the time I always heard that the technology, like the scripts were just too advanced for the technology that existed. And I look at stuff like The Mandalorian now and what they're doing with these virtual sets. Do you think that the technology is caught up to what you guys wrote on the page? Do you think it's like scripts that could still be used in the future? Or do you think that's just, you know, it, it was sort of a time and a place and who knows what's going to happen? Well, it's hard to say because, you know, um, certainly we've come a long way with virtual sets and CG technology in the meantime. At, at the time, George just said, write them as big as you want. We'll figure it out later. So we really had no constraints. I mean, we were all experienced television and feature writers. So we, we all kind of knew what was theoretically possible on a production budget. But we just went for this pass. We said, OK, let's just take them as we're just to make it crazy and big. It was lots of action and lots of sets and huge set pieces and just much bigger than what you would normally do in a television show. Uh, and we knew that at some point it wasn't going to have to dial back. So I don't know that specifically there were any things we were trying to accomplish that you couldn't, uh, could or could not accomplish with today's technology. It just, we didn't, we hadn't really focused on any production issues at the time that we wrote the original drafts. My last question for you about this, because I'm very curious, when you guys were writing, were you writing with like 10 episode arcs or 20 episode arcs, or was it one big 48 episode storyline? It was pretty much, I mean, yeah, I think it was pretty much one big storyline. It was one long, one long tale with episodic, you know, things that would happen. There'd be, you know, certain events would happen in this episode or this episode. So it was sort of an episodic quality to some of it, but it was telling a larger narrative in terms of the story of those particular characters in that setting.